what's happening y'all rich sosa coming back at you with another video today and before we get started i gotta say thank god king jesus for another day and another opportunity comment down tg for thank god and where you're tuning in from and i'll definitely be sure to get back to you with a response so as you can see from the looks of the thumbnail title and screen man Today I'm putting together a very special build for y'all and as you can see this one's gonna be coming out to that rare Jalen Brown comparison wing creator build bro. Now I'm very happy with this one not only because of that number one comparison but as far as when it comes towards the animations that we unlock on this build bro we get the best layup styles also when it comes towards pro contact dunks the best jump shots available and on top of that upgraded passing styles with most of the pro dribble animations so i would say this is one of the best replica builds that you can make a true nba champion build bro and this is going to be a build that you can use right now as of season one so i just want to say thank every single one of you for your support i see when the comments going crazy and i truly just want you to know that i acknowledge y'all man so if it's your first time coming through be sure to hit that sub button if you know smash that like button turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family now from here man let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of today's bill so the first thing that we're doing today to get this one started is putting it under the small forward position now as far as for that height we're gonna drop it one tick down to 6'6 as we get into that weight today i'm gonna go with 223 and then for that wingspan let's raise this up to seven feet so not bad when it comes toward this bill's physicals but as far as when it comes towards that attributes this is going to be the main important area that we need to get into first so as far as when it comes towards that speed today we're going to put this up to an 84. as far as when it comes towards the actual agility let's go up to a 78. moving into the actual strength today we're not going to be weak on this build let's go up to an 85 and then for that vertical we're going to put this up to a 75 so not too bad when it comes towards the physicals i think they're pretty balanced and if you want to make any type of changes and adjustments do it after we create this build maxed out to 99 overall so the next area that i'm diving into from here is going to be that finishing so for that driving dunk we're going to put this all the way up to an 87 moving into that driving layup let's go with an 80 and then moving into the actual close shot we're going to go up to an 84. now as far as when it comes towards this post control let's move this up to a 79 and then as you can see with that standing dunk man we're gonna move this up to a 40 so not too bad when it comes towards this side of the ball and i'll be sure to get into the breakdown of animations badges everything once we get this build maxed out so as far as when it comes towards that mid-range shot today move this all the way up to an 89 as for when it comes towards this three-pointer let's go up to an 83 and then as you can see for that free throw man we're gonna go up to an 80 so pretty balanced when it comes towards the offensive side with how it's shaping now. If you want to take anything away from some of these attributes, I can definitely see that. But it's going to be crucial to maintain that number one comparison of Jalen Brown. So as we get into that pass accuracy, I'm going to put this all the way up to E75. Moving into that ball handle, man. Let's go up to E90. With that speed with ball, going up to E75. So not too bad when it comes towards this build for the offensive side. And I made sure that, you know... I went with the minimum threshold for this defensive end to still be effective so for that interior let's go up to e70 71 when it comes towards the actual perimeter and then for that steal today man we're gonna go up to e60 and for this rebounding to wrap everything up today let's go with the defensive of a 60 and then for the remaining attributes put them towards that offensive and this is what we're gonna be looking like once you get this build max out to 99 overall so you know i don't think it's too bad when it comes towards the actual defensive end so once we get into these badges, we get a good amount of them, bro, especially on that silver tier, as you can see. Now, for the Hall of Fame, we get one badge, so we get strong handle. Not too bad, and the animations, you know, the boost that it gives you towards your actual dribble animations, gotta be one of my favorite badges to use, especially for the dribbling. Now, when it comes towards these gold badges, we get about four of them. You get set shot specialist. You also do get handles for days, aerial wizard, and then also, of course, you know, post fade for them. All around, I would say that this build is going to be one that can pretty much dominate in any game mode. I think it's a really great wreck build, especially considering the size that it has. Now, once we check out these silver badges, there's a lot of them, bro. So, we get Slippery Off-Ball Post-Up Poet. From there, you do get Paint Prodigy, Off-Ball Pass, you know, Hook Specialist, Float Game. You also get Dimer here, Break Starter, and Brick Wall. Now, from there, you get Deadeye with Lightning Launch, also Physical Finisher. At the top, you get Ankle Assassin, Posterizer, you know, we also do get Shifty Shooter, and then Unpluckable. So, 
I would say the finishing is super strong in this build, but considering the defense, bro, you know, I'm pretty happy that we know it's going to be effective pretty much guarding just about any position. I would say on my main big man build that I've used, I only have about a 62 perimeter defense, so getting a 71, that's going to allow you to play some pretty solid defense at the perimeter. Now, as far as when it comes towards these bronze badges, we get Rebound Chaser, you also get Limitless Range, Interceptor, Challenger, from there we get Box Out Beast, Immovable Enforcer, and Layup Mix Master. So, all around from top to bottom, I gotta say this is one of the more complete builds. So, before we get into these takeovers, let's talk about these Cat Breakers, bro. So, if you wanted to throw it towards, let's say, you want to get more out of the actual driving done, I can definitely see that to possibly, you know, get elite contact dunks on this build down the road but you're gonna at least need to grind 10 cat breakers out now let's just go ahead and say you want to throw it towards you know a different area like the shooting to get some extra badges that's another great option even if you wanted to get more of that pass accuracy or even the actual ball handle that's not too bad either but as far as for this defensive end you know there's other badges that you can look at like on a ball manage you know we pretty much have the main requirements for a lot of these but it really comes down to your play style and your preference so now as we get into these takeovers as you can see we get about 20 of them so above the rim you also do get bully driver with finesse fortress make it rain mixtape and slice now you also do get spot up shooter smooth operator midi maestro great wall finisher feathery touch clinic and you also get bucket so let me give y'all some game right now. If you want to be the most, you know, overpowered build, there's one specific takeover that you need to pick. And if you've been watching my videos, you already know this. Great wall takeover, man. The plus 15, giving you a 100 strength, is absolutely going to make this a bully build. And that's really going to help out on the defensive end. Now, there's a few other takeovers that you can pick from, you know, Midi my Astro getting the plus 15. The best takeovers, in my opinion, are going to be the ones that give you at least a plus 8 up to 15. Now, especially with the takeover abilities, you know, right here with spot up shooter getting marksman, so a plus 10 put towards that three point shot, not too bad and something you should think about. Now we also do get make it rain, which, you know, with fortress, we can also get the plus eight put towards that three pointer and strength. So just another option to go with, or even if you wanted to go with, you know, above the rim to get that plus 15 put towards that driving dunk for a 99 driving dunk, bro, that's going to be nasty. And then you also do get poster machine takeover ability man this is a great build from top to bottom and you know i really went into detail with making sure that we get everything from animation the takeovers and the most important bro badges so let me know what y'all think about this build down below is there anything that you potentially would change about it i think it's great and you know you can potentially even be a point guard even though it's at the small forward position i think it's still a great mismatch pretty much for about any game mode that you're running you can play guard, you know, a little bit of being the best offensive star in your team. So let's go ahead and move forward to make sure that we all made this build correctly. As you can see, we get that number one comparison of Jalen Brown, NBA champion, bro. And coming up at about the 49th build that we've created together, man. We got the rare wing creator build in NBA 2K25 on next gen. So if you made it this far into the video, I want to say thank you so much for your support. You know, I got some big news, man. I've been invited to the NBA 2K25 logo gauntlet, and none of this would be possible without Jesus Christ and y'all, the rich family. So, I told y'all, man, we are building the most positive 2K, Christ-like minded community in all of the 2K history in all of YouTube, bro. I really need you to recognize and realize that y'all are part of this community that we're building together, and none of it would be possible without our Lord above Jesus, man. So. Once again, thank you for your support. We got a stream coming up for NBA 2K for the logo gauntlet in about a week, bro. Next Friday, tune in at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. Y'all will see me participate and be crowned that logo champion, man. So once again, you know, if you have any questions about this build, be sure to let me know down below. Any recommendations or any builds that y'all want me to go after that you personally have yourself, let me know the details or hit me up on my socials above. And I'll be sure to get back to you, man. So, I appreciate you, the Rich family. God bless you. And if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you know. Smash that like button. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And last but definitely not least. With all that being said, though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.